I have been misidentified for Chinese, Korean, Japanese. They confuse me with a little bit of Colombian and... Sometimes people say that I'm Swiss or Italian, French, German. Most people confuse us with Mexicans because anybody who speaks Spanish speaks and it's Mexican. No, they have called me Arabian. They have called you Arabian? Yeah, like, Yo, you, you have you, eyeliners, right? You're Arabian. Also. You look like Arab. Yes. When they ask me and my mom where you're from, Oh, man, you're not like the other Brazilian that I know, that like what I know about Brazilians. Most of the people, they ask to me, actually, like, oh, you got a different accent, like, it's different. Where are you from, actually? Because they say, like, I look like Russia or Italian. And they think I'm a former Korea. Sometimes I get misidentified as Italian or just a white boy. They thought that why I was from Spain. Well, people call me Asians. I guess I'm Asians. I know who I am. <laughs> Before I had my dreads, I had my, my hair trimmed and I had just a little mustache and people used to call me Chico. We like to hug each other, kiss oh, each other. That has been one big problem. Like I meeting a girl, hey, how are you? And just kiss yeah, you. Yeah, like, that oh. happens a lot. It was like, what so, are you doing? I'm very friendly. Also, I break dance. Uh, I can rap a little bit. I don't know, like I like to hang out and meet people, meet cultures, knew more stuff about life. Like, I, I love to listen to everyone's experience. I've been traveling around the world for, you know, for a pretty long distance. I'm really responsible, I'm really proactive. I'm a little bit bossy. You need to ask somebody, like, where you're from, or what's your name? My culture has always been different, like, from my country. Like, I don't feel like it fit there sometimes. You know, I, I want to change the world, you know? I want to change the world, I want to make the world better, you know? We are 27 years old, but they're much older than we are. When I say hi to my mom and stuff, uh, or my uncle, I say bendición. We have different vehicles running on the same road. We got bikes, bicycle, we got cars, and sometimes animals too. My brother is in Colombia, my sister is in England, and my dad and my mom are in Venezuela. So I have like the heart broken in four pieces. First, when I came to the United States, I had a big impact with the culture. In America, like, people use cars, lots of cars. So people are good in the streets, they stop in the lights. The food is completely different. Even if it's writing French cheese, it's not French cheese, really. We see each other every day, and, and how many yeah, are you? We touch hug, each yeah, other yeah. every time, and Americans don't touch people, and okay. Maybe after a few English. years and met... Sometimes. Yeah, yeah. maybe, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know, have been me. Since I arrived here, I could express myself more than I have been expressed back home. And the safety. I mean, being having the possibility of walking like from my place to college, uh, or going on my bike like at seven o'clock from like almost 20 miles from my place to my girlfriend's place, without being scared. It's a it's a very big difference. I mean, that's priceless. So if someone saying, "Oh, where are you from?" And I come from Europe. It's a little country between Germany and France. When they ask me and my mom where you're from, my mom has a pride to say we're Angolan, we're African. And the guy asked if we have monkeys in, in Angola. I was like, yeah. We just like, you don't have monkeys in America? And the guy said, only when you go to the zoo. I was like, OK. There's this one occasion at high school during lunch, uh, one of my best friends, his name's Tim. Um, I could have sworn he was Dominican by the way he looked and how he acted and stuff. Uh, I thought he always spoke Spanish, but uh, I was talking to him one time and I was like, Tim, are, are you Dominican? And he, he looks at me and he says, no, Eric, I'm Jamaican. I'm like, what? I still remember that well, one time I walked into a restaurant full of white people and I went to a white town, and I guess that town doesn't have a lot of Asian people walk around. So I went to this restaurant, I opened the door, and everybody was looking at me like, well, where did this dude come from? <laughs> the first people I met were the Chinese people, and I said, oh, you're Japanese. No, no, I'm Chinese. Oops. Just because I had curly hair, they used to call me black, because I wasn't like them. Then I moved back to Angola, and the same thing happened again. Instead of me being black, I was white. We're actually linked to your country more than you think so. My name is Andrea. I'm from Venezuela. Uh, Leo Li, I'm from China, Beijing. My name is Brian. I'm from Brazil. And I 
speaking from the city called São Paulo. And my name is Rafael, I'm from Brazil too, the same city, São Paulo. Federico Carmona, I'm from Caracas, Venezuela. Daniel Tenorio, I'm from Bogota, Colombia. My name is Eric Richard Cintron, I'm from Connecticut. I'm Sophie Nenny and I'm, I was born in France, but I live in Luxembourg. Hi, my name is Antonio Moraes, and I'm from Angola. Carlos Simón Figueroa Pulido, I'm from Venezuela, South America. Hi, my name is Ricardo, I'm from Puerto Rico, Bayamón, Puerto Rico. My name is Gabriel Lugo, and I'm also from Puerto Rico. Let me go like this. Yeah, that's my move. <laughs>